Hi, I'm Dr. Samantha Hill, President of the Ontario Medical Association. And both as President of the Ontario Medical Association, as a female physician and surgeon, and frankly, just as a female citizen, I'm honored to be taking part in the first ever Canadian Women's Physicians Day, celebrating female physicians and their contributions. We still have a long way to go to achieve equity and address the biases we encounter on a daily basis. But days like today are an important part of getting there. The last year has presented us with countless hurdles, but we have come together like never before. I am proud of all of our physicians and all of our female physicians. But in this time of global pandemic, I must particularly acknowledge our female medical officers of health across the province, who made some of the toughest decisions and faced much of the harshest criticisms at a time when everyone was pushed to their limits. Wearing the heavy mantle of Associate Chief Medical Officers of Health, Dr. Barbara Yaffe and Dr. Fiona Kuyumajan led the way. Thank you for all your heavy lifting this year. RBG said, women belong in all places where decisions are being made. And with 16 out of 34 public health units having female medical officers of health to guide their communities, she is yet again proven correct. While all our public health docs and medical officers of health faced similar challenges and heartbreaking decisions, while all spent countless overtime hours being up to date and educating others, I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the following. In the Southwest, Dr. Joyce Locke dealt with an outbreak at the police college. Thank you. In Huron, Perth, Dr. Miriam Klassen took decisive steps to protect temporary foreign workers and the community at large. Thank you. In Curve Lake, Hiawatha and the county and city of Peterborough, we saw Dr. Rosanna Salvaterra who has served her community tirelessly over the last 13 years. Thank you. I wish you the best in your upcoming well-deserved retirement. In the greater Toronto and Hamilton region, we saw doctors Eileen Davila and Elizabeth Richardson fight for equitable access to care for racialized and lower income communities that were especially hard hit. Thank you. In Wellington, Dufferin, Guelph Public Health, Dr. Nicola Mercer was one of the first public health units in Canada to institute a mandatory mask order and has developed their own vaccine booking system. Thank you. In the health units of Thunder Bay, Porcupine, Sudbury, Northwestern, Algoma, and Associated Districts, we saw unparalleled contribution and unparalleled collaboration by Drs. Janet DeMille, Leanne Catton, Penny Sutcliffe, Kit Young-Hoon, and Jennifer Liu, who exerted unbelievable effort to pull together as a community to support the Indigenous community, quell outbreaks in nursing homes, and help medical learners adjusting on the fly. Thank you. In Ottawa, Dr. Vera Etches managed over a thousand staff, survived relentless days, and still managed to be there for her two young children, a challenge upon which I have a unique line of sight. And Dr. Sarah Funnell, one of the many amazing female associate medical officer of health, took time out of her busy schedule to help me better understand some of the issues facing the Indigenous peoples who share this land with us. I have not forgotten Dr. Elizabeth Urbankti, Acting Medical Officer of Health for Brant County Health Unit, Dr. Paula Stewart in Leeds, Grenville and Lanark District Health Unit, or Dr. Hamida Magani of the Halton Public Health Unit, or Dr. Xu Wang for the Public Health Region of Waterloo. Thank you all. Communities came together under the leadership of these amazing 19 women and lives were saved. I am so grateful and so proud of their efforts and successes. When I see how my female colleagues in public health, family medicine, Emerge, and all other stripes have responded and stepped up to this crisis, I think of the quote by Eleanor Roosevelt who said, a woman is like a tea bag. You never know how strong she is until she gets in hot water. My female physician colleagues across the board have shown the world exactly how tough we are. To all my female colleagues, thank you for the work you do for your achievement, for raising the bar higher and encouraging us all to strive for greatness. Happy Canadian Women Physicians Day. <laughs>